Hello again, Izzy from Digital Goja Shows. And today we're going to take a look at what all these numbers and letters mean on our Nikkor lenses. If this video helps you out, please hit me up with a like button underneath and remember to subscribe to our channel for future tutorial sessions and unboxings such as this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Okay, here I have a very popular design from Nikon. This is their Nikon D3200. It's an older model. I think they're up to the 3300. I think even that one's going to be upgraded soon. But there's many different in the D line that will work with these lenses. Now, this one happens to be an older lens. This is an 18 to 70 millimeter DX. Let me show you what all this stuff means here. So when we look at our lens there, notice that it says Nikon. Now DX, that stands for crop sensor. So that is for their smaller sensor cameras. For example, like the D3200, the D5000, D5300. I think they're all the way up to the 5500 and the 7000 series. These lenses are not meant for full frame. So notice that it says 18 to 70. And here is your designation on your zoom. From 18 being the widest perspective, and you can zoom all the way up to 70 millimeter. And now when we go back, notice how the lens gets smaller. This is the wider perspective, more telephoto. Now, the numbers are designated here on the lens itself, and it says 18 to 70 millimeter. Now the next numbers, those are your aperture. That's the 3.5 slash 4.5. What does that mean? That means that when we're shooting at 18 millimeters, the maximum aperture is going to be f3.5 and when we zoom all the way out to 70 millimeters now your maximum aperture is going to be f4.5 the g is their digital designation and of course ed is for extra low dispersion glass that's a designation for nikon saying they're using some of their more premium optics and again the dx is specifically for crop sensor cameras so that means that when you put it onto your Nikon D3200 or 5000 series, it's going to work perfectly for this. Now, notice in the beginning, they all say AFS, Nikkor. That means that it does focus because it is an autofocus lens. But for this camera, you always have to look for that DX designation because that also means that this lens has the built-in motor for focusing. Why? Because here's another example. Here's an oldie but a goodie. This one is the Nikkor D-Series 50mm 1.8. Now notice how this one just says 50mm. There's no other millimeter designation on there. So this is what is called a prime lens. That means that this is strictly a 50mm and when you go ahead and put it on your camera, you have to move back and forth to change the perspective. And there's that designation again. Now this one is a 1.8D. That means it's a prime lens, fixed aperture. Your maximum aperture is always going to be 1.8. And I can actually show you because this lens actually has an aperture ring on the lens itself. This is an oldie because this lens was from the days of film. So notice how I changed my aperture here. And now I can show you. Can't do this with the digital DX lenses. Small opening, minimum aperture, f22. Large opening, maximum aperture, f1.8. But notice how this one says AF, it does not say AFS. So what does that mean? Well, the mount has not changed. So I can go ahead and place this lens onto my existing camera today's world but when i turn it on no focus there is no focus motor in here so this will not allow you to focus automatically you have to do the old-fashioned way manual focus it'll still take a shot but it will be a blurry image you will not be able to get autofocus on the lens but you still have your designation for your exposure and as a matter of fact, if you set it to live view, then you can go ahead and do your focusing and see your exposure there. So there you go. You can see I can do the focus. All right. There's my focusing. And the camera is still giving me the exposure on the bottom. So it's still giving you your correct exposure. 
And this lens will work perfectly as long as you're willing to focus. So that's where all these numbers and designations mean on our Nikkor lenses. Happy shooting.